Hi everyone, in this lesson we're going to take a look at another classic instrumental by The Shadows. This one's called Guitar Tango. Uh, before we begin, it's worth pointing out that I'm using a rather thick pick here. I'm using a Dunlop Jazz 3. Uh, I prefer to use a thick pick with this song because it gives you a lot more control because unusually for The Shadows, this one is played on an acoustic guitar and I find a thick pick just makes it easier to control the strings. I find the, the uh, the thinner plectrums are a bit too uh, a bit too flappy, so jazz three is what I'm using. Now the song is in the key of D major, and we in fact start on a D note. Okay, so this is the A section. So we're going to start on the seventh fret of the G string, and we're going to play that three times quickly. One more, then seventh fret of the B, fifth fret of the B two times, then back to the seventh fret of the G. That gives. And start off in the same way. So three on that, uh, three on the G string. One more, seven on the B string, five on the B string, then we go seven, six on the G string. Then we do three quickly on the sixth fret of the G. One more, five on the B string, then seven, six, four on the G string. And then three on the four, three more, and then seven, five, four on the D string. Okay, so that gives you. Okay, we repeat that. Okay, we then have the B section. So this is going to start using your second finger on the fourth fret of the D string. You're going to go four on the D, three on the G, four on the D, and down to four on the G string. Then onto the B, we go three, five, three. Okay, so that gives you. We're then going to take our first finger and slide it quickly down onto the second fret of the B. We then move up to the second fret of the G, strike it two times, and then slide it up to the fourth fret. We then play 5 4 on the D string. Okay, so all of that put together gives. Repeat that. Okay, then we have the C section. Now this starts by playing a B minor chord. So this is an A minor chord, moved down and barred at the second fret. So we're going to strum that three times. Then going to go up to the seventh fret of the G string and use our second finger to strike it, strike it again, and then quickly slide up to the nine. We're then going to go seven, six, so that's all on the G string, nine on the D string, and then back to six on the G. So that gives. then going to play an A major chord, which is uh, an E-shape bar chord, up at the 5th fret. We're going to st uh, strum that twice. Then play 6 on the G, 
7 on the G, 6 on the G, then 9, 7 on the D string. We then go to a G major chord, so it's the same shape as before, the E bar shape on the uh, third fret this time. And we're going we're gonna to strike that three times. And notice when I'm striking it, I'm not playing all six strings. I'm sort of just strumming down to the G string. We then go uh, four, six, four on the G string. Then seven, five on the D string. We're then going to go four, six on the D string. We're then going to drop down to the third fret on the G string and play three, four, six, six, four. So that gives... I'll just do that again. Okay, we're then going to put our second finger on the sixth fret of the G string. And we're going to play it and hammer on using our third finger to the seventh fret of the G string. We then play five on the B, six, sorry, seven, six, four, six, four. Let me go through that again. So hammer on six to seven on the G string. We then play five on the B string. We then go back to the G string and we play seven, six, four, six, four. We then go to the seventh fret of the D, fifth fret of the D, fourth fret of the D. And that gives us. Okay, so I'm going to play all of that section coming off of the uh, after the G uh, G major chord. go back to a B minor chord. Three strums on that. We're then going to go up to the seventh fret with our first finger this time and we're going to strike it, strike it again and this time we're going to hammer on to the uh, to ninth fret, all of this on the G string. We then go back to the seventh fret of the G, then six on the G and then nine on the D string. So that is Then go to an A major bar shape. Play that three times. We then go six, seven, six on the G string, and then nine, seven on the D string. We then play the G major bar chord again. then going to play the fourth fret of the G string using our second finger, strike it, strike it again and slide it up to the sixth fret, then play the fourth fret again, this time I'm using my first finger, and then we go 7-5 on the D string, so that gives... then go four, four again, five, seven, five, four, all on the D string. Okay, then let's go through the whole of the C section. Right, we then repeat the A section, but this time we only do 
Uh, we only go for it once, so that is. Okay, we then go to the B section. We start off in exactly the same way as we did before. this two. I don't think he slides on that one, I think he just plays the two. We then go up to the seventh fret and we stride that twice, this is on the D string. We then slide that back to the fifth fret, we then play five, four. Okay, so I'll give you that whole part. Then have the C section again, this time with a variation. So the first half of it remains almost the same. We start on the B minor chord again, play that three times. We then go up to the seventh fret, and this time rather than doing any hammer ons or slides, we're just going to play the notes seven, nine, seven, six on the G string, then nine on the D string, and six on the G. go to the A major chord for two strums. We then go six, seven, six on the G, nine, seven on the uh, D string. We then play the G chord for three strums. And then we do exactly what we did before. Since that's identical, I won't uh, I won't talk you through it again. You can uh, re rewind the video and learn that part. We then have B minor this time only for two strums. Okay, and this is where it changes. We go up to the ninth fret of the D with our little finger. And they're going to play six, seven, nine on the uh, G string. So that is. then going to go down to the 7th fret on the B, 7th fret on the G, 8 on the B, 7 on the B, 9 on the G, 7 on the G, and then 6 on the G. Okay, so that goes... And notice what's happening in the rhythm there. You start off playing 8th notes, so you go one and two and, and then we're going to go into two triplets, two eighth note triplets. So that'll be three triplet, four triplet, and then that's beat one of the next bar. Okay, so let me give you that again. Okay, then play nine, se uh, sorry, seven, nine on the D string. We're then going to do a hammer-on from 6 to 7 on the G string. We're then going to move our first finger back to the 5th fret of the B. Play 7, 6 on the G. First finger now plays 4 on the G. You then play 6 on the G, 4 on the G, and then 7 on the D string. Okay, so let me give you that again. Okay, we're then going to go 4, 4 on the G, 5, 7 on the D, 4, 4 on the G, 5, 7 on the D, 4 on the G, 5, 7 on the D, 4 on the G, and this time 7, 5 on the D string, then 4 on the D string. So that gives you... We're then going to go 5, 7 on the D, then 5, 7, 5, 4. OK, 
Okay, so let me give you the whole of the second C section again. Okay, and then we simply go back into the A section. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, can you please give me a, uh, a little thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe to more of my videos. And I'll see you next time.